Don't worry, I'll stall. So you guys ever heard about bread? <laughs> it's pretty good, right? <laughs> Sometimes I put meat in between it and I make this thing called a sandwich. <laughs> Okay, good. That was enough stalling. I was running out of material, man. <laughs> I only got so much on sandwiches. All right. One more time for PLC, you guys. Uh, no, uh, I had been drinking whiskey with some friends. And uh, they were c- c- complaining about their girlfriends. And I thought it was kind of amusing. And uh, I had written down some of the things that they were talking about. Okay, so... When a woman asks, do you think I'm fat? Don't say, I fucked my finger. She will not receive it as a compliment in which it was intended. When a woman says, it is nothing, I am fine. It means, you better turn into Sherlock Holmes and figure out what is bothering her because she will kill you in your sleep if you don't. When a woman says, here, let me do that, it means she is planning an ambush and is stockpiling ammunition to shoot you in the head with to prove you are incompetent. When a woman says, does this outfit show too much skin, there is no right answer. Change the subject, exit the building, and as soon as possible, when a woman says, What are you thinking? She doesn't really care what you're thinking. She wants to tell you what she is thinking. When you compliment a woman's looks, she will get mad at that you are objectifying her. When you don't compliment her, she will get angry that you are ignoring her. When a woman doesn't want to pick where you, where to eat, but shoots down every suggestion you make, she has decided where she wants to eat, but wants you to come up wants to come up as thoughtful. As soon as your suggestion sinks with her desire, she will say, That's a great idea. When men are not emotionally available, it is for self preservation. Women didn't believe don't believe men should be afforded emotions. Tell women how you feel. And if it doesn't map, see, with what she thinks, it should be, excuse me, it should be, she will say, you shouldn't feel that way. Now the funny thing about this is that these were not men I was talking to. It was these lesbians that I used to drink with after work. <laughs> okay, and uh, I'm just going to go ahead and end it there and let the next person take over. Okay. <laughs> Short, sweet, and to the point. I like it. I was totally ready. That's how a real host, he was paying attention. He was here the whole time. All right. Um, I was thinking while I was sitting down, uh, I feel like Pokemon is a messed up premise, you guys. I feel like Pokemon is a messed up premise because you can't do that in real life. You can't take your dog over to your neighbor's house, make them battle, and think everybody's going to be friends with you after that. Like, that's, that's how you get kicked out of the NFL, you guys. Dog fighting is illegal. And here's my thing. I'm going to get a little nerdy here. Because, like, if you ever played the video games, it's even worse than you think. Because, like, if you ever played the games, in Pokemon, you never get the chance to say no to a Pokemon battle. It's always just some guy running up to you, saying something crazy, and then you got to fight. So, it, to me, every Pokemon battle is just a jumping it's just a guy beating you up for no reason. And I know it's a jumping because if you lose the battle, you black out, and then you wake up in the Pokemon version of the hospital, you don't know how much time has passed. But you do know there's no justice in Pokemon world because you walk outside and the guy that jumped you is standing in the same place waiting to jump you again. You go over to the police, you're like, help, that guy just hurt me. They're riding bicycles in circles. They're like, we're the police. And then you have to fight the police. It's not a good time, you guys. Pokemon is a dangerous game, and I don't think we should keep supporting it.